So let's talk about creation redemption. This is the technology benefit of ETFs and how assets move in and out of the fund. If you see in the two charts, there's the secondary market and the primary market. All investors are going to transact in the secondary market and creations and redemptions are going to happen in the primary market. No investor will be able to create and redeem on their own. You must be an authorized participant with the fund, uh, which is a special agreement between the fund and the counterparty to create and redeem in the fund. So all investors should focus on the secondary market where ETFs trade on an exchange. So let's talk about how this, this mechanism actually works and how creations and redemptions actually happen. So investors are trading on an exchange and they may be transacting with another investor who is selling their shares. At that point, the transaction is done. You have paired off a buy and a sell and nothing will happen after that. But most likely an investor will be transacting with a market maker who is providing liquidity to buy or sell shares of the ETF to end investors. So they will be pricing that ETF based on the fair value of the ETF, which is where they can sell the ETF and buy the underlying basket. And that is what's known as the arbitrage mechanism. Conversely, they will be buying the ETF where they can sell the underlying basket. So investors are buying the ETF throughout the day. Now let's talk about a creation. Market makers have now sold more shares than they have. And at the end of the day, they need to come to the fund in the primary market and create new shares of the ETF. What they will do is they will deliver that underlying basket that they were uh, buying up all day long as they were selling the ETF. They will deliver that basket to the fund. The fund will take in those assets and they will create new ETF shares. They will deliver back those ETF shares to the authorized participant or the market maker to flatten out that short position that they had. Uh, and at the, end, at the end of the day, the market maker has no position. They have delivered the basket and they have flattened out their short position. This is how assets move into the fund. This is how new shares are created. It's really more of a back office function that happens once a day at the NAV of the fund. Um, so it's not really something that investors should be concerned about, but good to understand as to how the mechanism and the wrapper of ETFs work. So let's talk about the other side, redemptions. Investors now want to sell those shares of the ETF. They are selling those shares to the market maker. Market maker is buying those shares and they are selling the underlying basket to hedge themselves. At the end of the day, they now own more shares of the ETF than they would like to have. So they will go to the fund as an authorized participant and they would say, I would like to redeem these ETF shares that I have. They will deliver back those ETF shares. The fund will retire those shares and they will take the pro rata basket of the assets in the fund and delivered back to the market maker. Those are long basket shares collapsing that short position in the basket that they were hedging themselves with throughout the day. This is also the tax efficiency and the beauty of the ETFs as to why they do not distribute capital gains distributions uh, generally. It's because the fund can take low cost basis securities and push them out back to the market maker in an in-kind transaction where the fund is not needing to sell securities inside the fund and trigger capital gains events. This, let's also talk a little bit about the insulation that investors have from transaction costs. It's also done on the exchange. Market makers are pricing the ETF at fair value and putting a spread around that, which is essentially the cost to transact in the underlying market. Whereas in a mutual fund, PMs go out inside the fund and transact in those underlying securities and those commissions are shared by all investors as a reduction of NAV. Thank you for joining us today for an introduction to ETFs. I hope you have a better understanding of what is an ETF, how it differs from a mutual fund, the types of ETFs available to you, where you can buy and sell ETFs, and how the basic structure of an ETF works.